Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about Kingfisher beak and bullet train. Kingfisher beak is a bird uh, which is an excellent example for nature's design for efficient diving and fishing. So it usually it dives, uh, it is well known for uh, its diving and while diving it doesn't make much sound so that the fish in the uh, in the aquatic uh, uh, environment they don't even have uh, the clue that this particular kingfisher beak is coming and also so to have this efficient diving and fishing the reason was aware the unique shape and the structure enable which which kingfisher has got to minimize the impact of water resistance and achieve a successful dive so if water resistance will be less so that uh, it can successfully have a nice dive and catch the fish so this is exactly how the bird looks like uh, kingfisher beak and the similar structure was copied uh, by inspired and uh, bullet train was made so uh, specifically in japan uh, uh, some of the uh, this bullet trains are exactly a replica of this particular bird. So the physics behind the kingfisher beak. The first thing, uh, there are a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, concepts where physics concepts we can uh, keep on uh, explaining uh, regarding the kingfisher beak. Uh, out of which the, we'll start with the streamlining. So streamlining. So under this we can study the beak of the kingfisher is long. The beak. Okay, that front part is long, slender, and sharply pointed. So this is because, because it is, since it is a long, slender, and as well as sharply pointed, this will help to reduce the drag. Definitely, it will help to reduce the drag or air resistance as the bird dives into the water. Now, the streamlined shape allows the kingfisher to smoothly cut through the water and minimize the energy which is required for the dive. So because of this, air, air uh, drag reduction is less in the air, so it can smoothly dive and it can minimize the one, whatever the energy is required for the dive. The same, same property is copied for the bullet train also. Next, high, I mean surface tension. So uh, what happens when the kingfisher hits the water, it encounters the surface resistance. That means the resistance which is caused by the surface. Okay, so that is called surface tension. So now this particular surface tension is uh, the definition of the surface tension. This is nothing but a cohesive force between the water molecule that creates the skin on the water surface. So now the sharp peak uh, of this particular kingfisher which, uh, uh, which it has got in the uh, front that will help to pierce it. That means it will cut through this particular water surface and breaking the surface tension and as well as reducing the force which is required to enter the water. So once the surface tension is cu cut and that will reduce the force which is required to enter the water. So minimizing the splash. So as the kingfisher dies what happens it needs to enter the water with minimal disturbance. Why? Because it has to catch the fish right. So for that it should go silently. So to avoid scaring away the fish it intends to catch. So the shape of the beak helps to reduce the splash generated by the upon the entry. So now the beak's narrow and pointed design helps, you know, helps create a smooth entry by minimizing the disturbance of the water surface and allowing the kingfisher to enter silently and effectively. The same thing what we discussed. Technological importance of this particular bird. Now the use of the kingfisher beak as a design inspiration for the in the uh, you know, front, uh, for example, especially the front part of the uh, bullet train is an example of how nature inspired engineering can lead to the innovative solution that improve the performance and efficiency of the machines. So bullet trains is well known for its speed and if you are if something which is traveling at such a speed, okay, that their, their structure matters because it is experiencing the huge amount of air which is coming, a lot of resistance will be there. To encounter this resistance, the structure uh, uh, has to be similar that the this particular kingfisher beak, so that it can break it and its performance and efficiency of the machine can be increased. So that's how the technologically importance this bio inspiration 
was next uh, we are having example here so she can scan uh, bullet uh, bullet train of the japan is the best example for the uh, the biomimicry of the kingfisher beak biomimicry all of you know the mimic in the the biology of particular living organism or any entity next aerodynamic design okay so one of the most important property to reduce the drag right or the resistance now the front part of this particular uh, shingen skin uh, the bullet train is meticulously shaped to reduce the air resistance and also not only reducing the air resistance but also to improve the aerodynamic performance now aerodynamic performance we have studied in uh, the uh, previous topics like bird flying topics so you can just recall so now the streamlined design minimizes drag as the train travels at higher speed so what happens when this particular we know that uh, the why it is called as bullet train because it it is faster almost 2x 3x faster than a normal train that's why so because of this uh, you need uh, you need to minimize the drag right so allowing it to maintain the stability and efficiency so now the smooth and tapered shape reduces the pressure difference between the front and as well as the back side of the train rear side of the train so when there is a pressure difference is there like uh, what we had pressure difference in the wings if you recall the uh, bird flying this here it will be the front and rear part so reducing the noise and vibration also so pressure wave reduction now when a high light, uh, this high speed uh, train moves through a tunnel what happens it creates lot of uh, you know pressure will be there lot of pressure waves will be there because of this pressure waves only there will be noise and discomfort for the passengers imagine normal train when it is going for 60 to 80 or maybe maximum 100 km only we hear lot of pressure waves we hear lot of you know discomfort we most of us we, cl we close our ears and some of us make noise that is different is and we enjoy that but similar but uh, this is not going to be same for the bullet train if it is not taken care by the technological aspect if it is uh, that is that was by inspired by this particular kingfisher beacon now the no because it will be traveling 2 to 3x speed than the normal trains now the nose of this is again this particular bullet train is designed to reduce these pressure waves by effectively managing air flow you need to make sure that the design should be in such a way that the pressure wave should be managed right you need to manage the air flow and as well as minimize the compression and the expansion of the air as the train enters and exits tunnel respectively so when it, while it enters there will be has to be compression should be there and when it is keep when it is exiting there has to be expansion so that the pressure waves can be you know effectively managed or wave air flow can be effectively managed so this reduces the noise level and enhances the passenger comfort so the passenger can sit comfortably so uh, so that's it for today so next class we are having a human blood substitute that we will discuss in the next class